What's good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? J Daisy here with the J Daisy Gaming Channel. Here with Onward. Uh, this is a VR exclusive game, so I apologize with the screen having to be a little bit of my desktop. There, it's the only way I can um, get this to record. Um, it would, it uh, would just wouldn't be detected by XSplit. Um, like I said, this is a VR game that came out August 30th, 2016. Um, it is in early access. Uh, I picked it up for about 20 bucks. I think it's, it's 25 on Steam regularly. I picked it up for 20. Um, and it is pretty much a multiplayer with a single player aspect shooter, first person shooter. Um, and this is where I'm going to give it a lot of praise. Um, mainly because this is what I expected VR to be. Um, this is the first game I've seen that really takes VR to that really jump leap bounds next level um like i said it's a first person shooter so in on for full disclosure sorry i was trying to pick my words carefully full disclosure i have not tried any of the multiplayer yet um i'm still trying to get a little bit of my vr legs um I'm, i do find it it's just a matter of getting past extended periods of time i think i played for like an hour and a half and i was fine um, but with this game, you use your left hand as a mouse pad, pretty much on the uh, mouse pad, to move. And you go at a walking speed. And when you first go like that, you kind of go, man, I wish I was moving faster. But if you were, you might be getting uh, sickness, or, you know, like kind of like vertigo or something. So it's probably intentional that they move you at the speed you go. They might, You might be able to go faster. I just don't know of that technique. Um, I played a couple rounds of the single player stuff. It's a whole lot of fun. Um, when you look down at your body, as you can see from the tutorial video here, you have your ammo on there, and you actually have to grab it from your left hip, bring it up to the gun, put it in. Um, you have to grab your grenade is pretty much in the the uh, kind of your belly area or towards your pecs. Um, you can choose where you put your sidearm. I chose it on my chest just because that seemed like an easier place to grab it. Um, and that has its own ammo as well. It has a really neat feature that you have to take your right hand. Put it up to your left shoulder, click in it on the trigger, and that's your group chat, which I find very interesting mechanic. I really like that as an idea. Um, and what else do they have? Oh, you have to take your right hand, put it behind your back, pull it uh, trigger, and it'll give you your little data pad, and that's how you disarm bombs or rearm bombs, access the menus and stuff. So it has a lot of really cool features. Um, I did run into the bug. Like I said, this is early access. So I ran into the bug where, in the single player stuff, I was having issues reloading any gun with a clip. Um, the You're supposed to scroll down or push down on your right hand, uh, the trackpad there, to get it to eject the clip so you can put in the next one. Um, and I just, it would not do that. Anything clip fed uh, or magazine fed would not do that for me. Excuse me for calling it clip fed. Uh, anything magazine fed would not do that for me. Um, so I don't know what that is because with my sidearms it was fine. I never had an issue. Um, so the single player stuff I had to resort to either using something with a whole lot of ammo like a belt fed or a marksman rifle or just ending up with my pistol. Um, the AI enemy is fairly robust. I mean you put them on easy and they're pretty dang dumb. Um, let you walk up close and stab them. Also you do have a knife. I forgot to mention that. Um, so you can get up and close and personal, and but it, with all VR, once you get close to personal, we still haven't mastered the uh, regular height mechanic on any VR game, really. It seems like any VR AI is about 8 feet tall, um, and this is no exception. And you actually have to pull the trigger to stab them, um, which is, you know, it takes a second to remember that. Uh, this game also does something that really floored me to the ground the first time I did it um and you kind of get a feel for it when you're going through the tu tutorial and they tell you where the knife is and they're like oh when you pull the trigger be careful it is sharp ha 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 and you go huh that's kind of weird um and then I jokingly and this is probably you'll probably say it's in bad taste I jokingly pulled the trigger of the gun at myself and I died um, and that's a really, it, it floored me the first time I did it. It really, really kind of just reeled me back and I had to stop for a second and think about what just happened. Um, it, it's a weird feeling. I wish I could sp say how the multiplayer is, it's just I didn't want to try and experience that. Like I said, it's in early access, so normally those take a while to get in. Um, and like I said, I've only, I can only play for about an hour and a half before I just need to stop for a while, reassert myself. 
but it is a lot of fun. I've played it about five different sessions, um, and it really it has this thing of VR where it just wants to draw you back in. Um, the only other game that does this for me is handguns, horseshoes, or horseshoes, hand grenades, and you you know the game I'm talking about. <laughs> Hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. There it is. Um, maybe it's because I'm a gun nut, and this has a kind of a typical loadout system. Uh, to the point where you have eight points and everything you add on to your gun is either a point up or no point. So, you know, if you want a red dot sight, that's one point. If you want eight times zoom, that's two points or whatever. Um, you want a smoke grenade, that's a point. You want a frag grenade, that's two points. Um, so the loadout system is, does that, which is all right. Um, I get why they do it. It's kind of more of a balancing issue. Um, sound design is really good. And when I say really good, I mean really good. Um, everything sounds right, sounds good. Um... The only big thing that a few few people would complain is the whole walking speed. When you have to traverse a open area, um, it takes a while. But like I said, if you had that any faster, you might run into the problem of getting vertigo or getting sick easier. Uh, as far as that goes, it um, is also worth mentioning uh, that they have a lot of options when you open the game the first time, and these can be changed in the settings at any time. It is very thorough to make sure that the a that your um, all your person is set up right. It asks you, you know, what hand do you prefer to use? What's your height? What this? Where would you like your gun? Where do you want this? Do you want if you put your hand at the front of the gun, does it automatically grab it, or do you have to click in on it? And so it's very they're very in tune and they're doing very well. Um, from the reviews I've been reading online, the multiplayer works the same very well. Um, I'm leaning towards my glitch with the not being able to load magazines, either A, versus that map, or B, um, just a simple bug fixing, and I'm leaning towards it's probably the first one, uh, just from reading other people's reviews and, and uh, threads on Reddit and stuff. Uh, another thing worth mentioning is the game does a re very realistic thing that I often um, appreciate in games, especially like this, um, get it a lot from Rainbow C6. You have to manage your magazine count. Uh, you only take like three or four magazines of your primary gun into battle and only two of your secondary arm. Um, so you have to be cautious of every reload, every bullet, um, every magazine you use because you know you use all that. You're used to, we'll call it the Call of Duty syndrome, where you just you know shoot a bunch at a person and automatically hit R to reload. Um, if you do that here, you're going to run out of ammo by your third person. Uh, so it definitely makes you kind of cautious of how often you're firing, what you're firing at, making sure your shots are good, and not just firing blindly into a thing. Um, it does have a skirmish mode, which is what I've been playing mostly. It has a firing range, which is good to get a feel for kind of the marksman rifles and the, the sniper rifles of getting a hold of how they handle the, you know, using your one eye versus the other getting a feel for the different classes of the weapon. They have automatic rifles, they have your saws, they have your specialties, so you got your shotguns, your P90s. Like I said, they have marksman rifles, they have um, sniper rifles. They have a very wide assortment of stuff. Um, I'm not going to say I wouldn't like to see more, because I always want to see more um, as far as that goes. it has a So if you're looking for a VR game um, with a more first-person shooting um, what I kind of, I, I want to see more of this kind of stuff in VR, especially from this game. This is very promising. Um, I'm very excited to see where it goes since it's, it, it is in early access. Uh, if you kind of want something that's the epitome, that's being pretty generous, um, a very good quality VR game with a high level of detail, a high level of realism, um, a lot of good things going for it, and the bad is definitely, definitely w outweighed by the good. Um, this is a good one to check out, especially at the price point of $25. That's not bad for the amount of replayability and the amount of time you can get out of this, I feel. Uh, but once again, that is just kind of my opinion. always try and state that just so people don't get this twisted as me giving this a rating system or saying this is the price per value or what have you. I kind of got that. Reminded to me in a comment the other day about... Um, you know, the value of a game is different between each people, which is very true, but for me, this is a great value, and like I said, if you're looking for a VR, VR game, there's high realism, very interactive, very good, very well done, and still more to come of it, I think this is a good place to look at a good price point. Um, but as always, that is just my opinion. Please, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment box. As always, we're all in this one together. See you in the next one.